down the hall to the left. But careful, opens up at the end. Not much cover. Okay, good thing, thing to know. Okay, then that's orc. That's not. That's not really. It's nice, but it's nothing Enemy, else. Right. You're almost there. Just going past here. Might want to try to take her alive. That's that's that would be nice if it's even possible. I had like what's my not lethal. This this is non lethal weapon, so. Cellar. I wonder. Oh no. Move it, B. Situation's heating up. Sit rep. Alex is dead. Songbird has flown. It could be. It could still be her in there, or. or what? Some kind of rabbit AI? Fuck. Reed will find her. A cyber psycho on that scale won't go unnoticed in the city. You're right. Finding her is priority one. Anywhere. Best check NCPD scanner for chatter. If Somi's been spotted, they'll know. Omega class target. Really? I repeat, Omega class target. Max Tech is in battle. Are we going to fight with the Max Tech? All units, all units. Max Tech is on the scene. Stand down. I repeat, stand down. Look, AVs. Max Tech. NC police? In Dogtown? Everybody's willing to make an exception for Max Tech when you got a cyber psycho on your doorstep. They're looking for Somi. We're following them. Max Tech? Don't tell you mean to fight him. <laughs> we are going to fight. No, but we need Max to know Tech. what's going on. Target is Omega Class. I repeat, Omega Class target at large. Max Tech is en route. That's her. She's completely Max lost Tech in position. Gone. Eyes on target. The same good. Hold your fire. Target exhibiting strange behavior. She's on the ground. Appears to be unconscious. Target secured. There's one thing left for us to do. Madam President. I have news. Tell me. We're burned, for now at least. And Songbird is in NC police custody. I have no sway with the city government. This is your problem to fix, Reed. Oh, of course. Understood. I'll get her to Langley. And remember, I want her alive. Langley? Thought the plan was to ask a few questions, help her get yeah, home. Yeah, well... 
Pretty tough to talk the way she is now. Weren't you paying attention? There is no second option. Right now, she belongs in federal custody. They can still help her, and you. So, what do we do now? We get to work. Get on the hollow. I'll do the same. We make calls to whoever comes to mind. Find us a net runner you trust, one who's capable of getting inside NCPD systems. You're in luck. Running the net's what I do. Your field experience is rich and it'll be valuable here. We need a dedicated runner jacked into a full rig. Data forts in their sights to works. Reed, we'll get her back. I know. Yes. Hands, hey, my turn. I got a job for you this time. You for me? Peculiar. If you're expecting so listen, me to guess... trusted runner. You of all folks gotta have one on your payroll. Someone for special jobs. Special meaning high risk. Out with it, V. Declare your need. Next Max Tech prisoner convoy. Direction, Los Padres. Need the route ASAP. Los Padres? Well, what you're planning is rather apparent then. I have a contact. One capable of extracting the information you require. For the right price. 15,000. Non-negotiable. Still interested? Zipping the ads your way now. And I expect results, hands. Transfer received. I'm sending the coordinates. Be there in... Bear with me. Ten hours. The data shard will be waiting. Encrypted, naturally. Accessible to you based on biometric identification. Oh, and do your utmost not to make a mess of this, V. I despise cleaning up after others. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Later, hands. V, if you've ever thought of starting a family, I would advise you to think twice. See, my client Michael Maldonado did not, and had a son that seems to cause him oh so much woe indeed. The matter's a rather delicate one. Michael wants to talk it over in person with you, and you alone. I favor clients with fewer question marks over their heads, but Maldonado offered extra. Thus, an exception was made. I'd like you to see him. See what this is about. Details attached. Hey, uh, Mikey! This piece of old scrap ate my eddies again! Can't play like this, man! When are you finally gonna fix it? You there? How about a quick game? Um, uh, Michael Maldonado? V. Hand said you needed a... a hand or something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an example. That's where you come in. First things first. This DA, Zembinski. What's her deal? She's as crooked as they come, like everyone else in Night City. Zeminski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me more about Eric. 
Mentioned he sells two-wheelers. Fixes them. Little go-getter owns a repair shop in Haywood now. Yeah. Moved out of Dogtown with his mother years ago. Hardly seen the kids since. Sure your son's who he says he is? Eric? He's too innocent for this town. That's why they're fixing to take him down. Zimbinski forced you to testify. How, exactly? At first she seemed... nice. We were sitting, having a normal conversation. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they... put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Okay. Just go talk to her. You know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. You get eaten alive in prison. Not if I have anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. Ah. That's a relief. No hands would entoss me some bush nigger. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for a... heart to heart. Okay. Bestowed VIP access. Looking for a customer of yours? DA Georgina Zimbinski. No Can't say I do, but if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack though, and him you'll find in the can. As in like the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz, where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Okay, uh, magic happens in a Okay. Toilet. Thanks. Listen, Jack, that Biotechnica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. You know, Sunflower Guy. Oh, Laurie, sweetheart, I feel you. Something to numb the pain? Yeah, I'll take three, you know what? Hey, what's good? Looking for something? Looking for someone. Girl tending bar told me you're the go-to. Nah. Helen needs to learn to keep her trap shut. Georgina Zimbinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that? Oh, slow down. Times it is and all that jazz. Do you what I'm saying? There. Don't make me regret it. Hey, no risk, no reward, right? Hey, baby, I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah, right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's schmoozing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Zempinski. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There's any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. Yeah. Okay. Like I did before.
No, the heavy hearts is an enterprising uh, atmosphere. And you are? Looking for Georgina Zimbinski. Is she around? Perhaps. That depends who you are. Someone you'd do well to answer when they ask you a question. Sheesh, that was uncalled for. I was just asking. And I'm just in a hurry. Need to talk to her. It's important. Let's help this concerned citizen, shall we? It is our job, after all. She's in booth six. Thanks, fellas. Okay, booth six. And she's looking the boat six. Staff only. Okay, that's not boat six. One witness might not seal the deal. That's why I have two more meetings lined up today. And me? You'll hit the stacks. Make contact with Esteban. Passing you the location and some operational funds. Go there, do this. <laughs> A glorified fucking errand boy is what I am. And you are? Georgina Zimbinski. Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to... That cowardly two-faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? You want to frame Mike's son as part of some gang bust? Frame him? Oh, please. Boy's done all the work himself already. Is that right? Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. Uh -huh. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. Who's Hector Sacristan? One of the Valentino's top men. Narco-millionaire, serial murderer. Two years I've been after him. Uh-huh. Eric Maldonado, he's the last domino. But if I want to use him, I need him behind bars. It's Mike's word against yours. Unlike mine, his is worthless. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During your conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. <laughs> Fine, deal. Don't trust you, but that goes double for Mike. And done. Testimony's anonymous now. Your client can sleep easy. Ah, well then. Everyone wins. Except for Eric, of course. Long as my client's happy. Here at least. Down here. 
V, how'd it go? Am I finally gonna get a good night's sleep? Spoke to the DA. Scrubbed your name and data from your testimony. Wait, what? Well, that's not what... She was supposed to delete it. Forget about your payment. This wasn't part of the deal. We both know not in any of that scratch is yours, Mikey. So? What did that bitch say? Everything and more. But don't fret. Your secret's safe with me. My silence, on the other hand, doesn't come cheap. Shut up and pay. I... Tired of just looking at you. Just... Just go. I just got off the hollow with Mr. Maldonado. He was most certainly not pleased. You acted with discretion. In my book, that's of utmost importance. Closing the gig. Okay, Hanch wasn't angry at all. My dear V, how would you like to do a good deed? Earn a quick euro buck over what you usually earn. A piece of hot lead in the gut. A terrorist organization, the Crimson Harvest, plans to detonate a bomb at Biotechnica's HQ in Berlin. Okay. I know that because Nell Springer, my client, is one of them. She needs your help foiling the plot. Interested? See the attachment for details. No, I, no, I understand. Turns out I will be staying at the stadium after all. Nell Springer? Who's asking? Name's V. Fixer sent me. You weren't followed? Know how to do my job. Thanks. But you don't know the Crimson Harvest. They're everywhere and nowhere. Did hands bring you up to speed? You'll end up in a storm drain with Said you want to turn uh, against Johnny the terrorists. Johnny is in the background. Sabotage their evil plans and save the day. For the love of... We're not terrorists. You got any clue what the Crimson Harvest even stands for? No. How about putting an end to hunger, starvation? People starving? Where? Because dumpsters are overflowing with food in Night City. You city folk don't know shit. You think you're free? That slavery's ancient history? Ought to see how Biotechnica treats farmers. Force them off their land to grow gene-modified wheat. For food, one would think. Wrong. For Chew 2 that's sold to Petrochem. You like the taste of Chew 2? No? That's what I thought. Farms are empty, but the roads are full. Yeah, no, no much no new with these. Farmers too, you know. Mm-hmm. Heard all about clans taking corp contracts. Kind of ironic, don't you think? Tough world out there. Gotta make a living. The Crimson Harvest. They recruit you, or did you volunteer? Grew up on a farm like most of my comrades. Corpse boots stamping on our faces. That was our life. Until we realized we could fight back. Crimson Harvest, they're like family. And the things you'll do for family will... can keep you up at night. Haunt you. Uh, don't you guys plant bombs, carry out mass killings? Uh, our people's hearts are in the right place. But they're blinded by their hatred of corpse. I... I never thought we'd start killing people. Things they had me do, I... I was naive. Probably thought she'd be collecting signatures and making peace protests. Or... Naive. A eh, bit of an understatement, that. Spare me the judgment. Didn't hire you to pin my biography. Here. Think we'd better cut to the chase. What's on the shard? One thing at a time, okay? The Crimson Harvest purchased a net nuke from Hansen. Net nuke. Europe. 
Specifically, Biotechnica's HQ in Berlin. You'll make sure that doesn't happen. Your bomb won't cause any good old-fashioned destruction. Thought terrorists like putting on a show. Take down a building, whoop the fucking do. Biotechnica just builds a new one. What you want is the protein. Human casualties. So what do we do? Western part of the stadium used to house a sports therapy center. For Hansen, turned into an arms factory. Entry codes 1701. Memorize it. It's got assembly lines, warehouses, the works. Part you're interested in is an experimental lab in the old pool. It's where they keep the bomb. Find it, upload the program from this shard. A few days from now, when the bomb's detonated in Berlin, it'll neutralize the virus, stop its spread. When it's done, I'd like that shard back. Gonna keep it as a souvenir? Can't be too careful. If the Crimson Harvest ever got their hands on it, I'm toast. Is it worth the risk? One botched attack ain't gonna stop your fellow fanatics. Opposite, in fact. Maybe I'm doing it for myself. Can't turn back time, but I can still change what happens here, now, the future. Too long I've sat on my ass agonizing over the shit I've done. That ends today. Sounds like you're trying to atone for something. <sighs> you done prying? Guess I'll get to work then. Counting on you, V. Okay. secure. uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia. ...has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive without access to food and fresh water for two weeks. Fortunately, after their rescue and following a brief rest for technical evaluation, the miners were able to immediately return to work. Moving from below the earth to above it, Militech has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Red Planet. will be subdivided into three areas. Ten residential modules are already available. For How sale. much? Fuck that, no deal. Ain't my problem. You shake on a deal with Hanson, you stick to it. Look. Hanson taking a dirt nap or isn't it?
okay. Ah, it's here. It's, it wasn't. Ah, it's new weapon. Mm. Okay, new, new prototype weapon, basically. Let's let's test it. Hercules, three AX. Smart, smart assault rifle. Looks in interesting. Okay. Right. Let's see what's here. Thing worse than a corpo's a terrorist with a conscience. Except terrorists ain't afraid to dirty their hands. Blame Nell for trying to save innocent people for having a conscience? If you're gonna declare war on corpse, you'd best be ready for the consequences. Yes, innocent people die. Fuck her in the it's ass, the nature people. of war. Been half a century since your little stunt at our Saka Tower. Thousands of innocent folks dead, and for what? An even taller tower? It was just the first skirmish in a long war. It's because of spineless cowards like Nell that we hit quicksand. Hmm. Come on, let's play a game. Ah! Well, this is at least powerful weapon. But there's lots of ammunition. Some kind of futuristic ammunition. And motorcycle too as well. But this looks like a, it's it's running on something. Chew too. Not not electricity. Okay now now those Soldiers are hostile, but not all of them, which is slightly weird. The bomb. You take care of it? Yep, and Sorry. everyone else. We're in the clear. Quick, hand me the shard. Gotta make tracks. What the? Shit, the car's hacked! What's going on? Did you sell me out? Got arrest. nothing to do with this. Mel Springer, you're under arrest for organizing last year's bombing of a biotechnical lab in Paris. No, no, no. This isn't happening. Your bomb killed 32 innocent people. That's true? You the one who planted that bomb? I swear on my life, V. I had Just no idea over. civilians would die. Step out of the vehicle. Hands in the air. Not giving myself up. Stay here. Four against one, huh? <gasps> Bring it. Yep. This is good gun. Uh. 
You hit? No, I... I don't think so. Thanks, V. Think you'll ever come around to forgiving yourself? Don't know. I already hate myself for what I did. Got your whole life to turn things around. Today was the first step. Couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, V. Good luck out there. What a waste. Chick had potential. Could have gone far. Pains me to see promising careers flush down the drain. Not everyone is a suicide bomber, Johnny. Did we get a new car? Yes, we got a new car. Quite some time. What can I do for you? Listen, Yoko. Hands tell you I'd swing by. It's about a gig. Oh, so it is you he meant. This day just got more interesting. First, I'll need confirmation our mutual acquaintance, in fact, sent you. Then we can talk. Connect here. I'll verify through biometric scan. Okay, how about it? Decryption will take a moment. Apologies. But it's necessary for a job of this caliber. Well, well, V? I didn't expect us to work together again. How is your running? Polishing your skills? Pretty good. You want to brag, but pretty damn good if I say so myself. Yet not good enough for you to dig into certain records for a certain person, huh? Ouch. Below the belt, Yoko. Right? With the formalities done, let's begin. All you need is here. Just so you know, gathering it wasn't easy. The Max Tac Data Fortress is a labyrinth and a panopticon combined. Every node you pass attracts a thousand unwanted stairs. But you managed. You're my hero, Yoko. Wait. Our cooperation need not end here, if you catch my meaning. That is, if you plan to do what I think with this data. Interested? Maybe. No strict hypothetical. What do you think I aim to do? Let's suppose you positioned yourself where a certain convoy was to pass. Mm-hmm. And? And let's suppose you are either prepared or insane enough to eliminate the guards of the convoy. Hot or cold? Can warm. Our mutual friend would offer additional thanks for the windfall that would result from this. Uh-huh. If you would be so kind and send us the coordinates of the location where you... Deal with your problem. You after Max Tech gear, is that it? Get there before anyone else does? Ah. Mm, you would only need to send the coordinates. Give it a shot, but no promises. I need the coordinates, nothing more. In return, I guarantee a generous reward. Good luck. Trauma drama.
Yeah. <laughs> Going to take a picture of this. Westbrook. Ah. Oh. Very, very, very old fashioned. This is like Contra. Okay, I died. <laughs> ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. School? Not here for tea. What's so urgent? No ordinary job, to be sure. Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Okay. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. Uh huh. The shard. Please insert it. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hansen's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. Ah! Yago, you will convince him to back down. What's wrong Yago with the Yago? Not up to snuff? Why? He's an accountant, no soldier. Kept Hansen's books for him. V, you don't win hearts by counting numbers. What's Bennett's story? Ex-Marine took part in Operation Midnight Storm. He never questioned orders, didn't serve for glory or medals. Loyal from start to finish. Okay, I'll handle that. No, you won't. But Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana, a living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have her behavioral impact. Uh... You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. Merc assassin, huh? Color me curious. Anything else I ought to know? Real name, unknown. Body count, unknown. Conservative estimates put it in the dozens. Per continent. Rumors, perhaps. But rumors often make for crowning arguments in negotiation. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity? Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay. All's crystal. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Mm -hmm. Time to kick the tire.
Look in the mirror. Do you feel the difference? Seriously, Hans? You make me your guinea pig for untested tech? Thought you valued your well-being more than that. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoos. I'll forward the coordinates. Okay. Wow. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Don't worry. Won't disappoint. That is the hope. Good luck. Okay. Crazy more. Marcinella. Time to go Cuban. Isolé. Yago ça, c'est un petit chat, prudent. Comme ni ta doué, ça pas un petit. Allez, ça c'est pas territoire. Get the fuck away from here. Quoi foutre ouais? Va au mon sort. Gotta wait for the man. Out in the open. Ah, want a face-off, do you? Aguilar, you saucy senorita. I know he likes. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Something ain't right, boss. You think? And you are... I answer with my own question. Do you know what happens when someone in Havana lights a cigar? Somewhere in the world, Aguilar takes a life. So they say. Do you know what else they say? That you have angered the wrong people. We know of your plan to oust Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. <laughs> I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? The chain of command. It is a concept you know. If just one link fails, the chain breaks. You will lay your ambitions to rest. You will resume your place in the chain and hold firm. 
Charlie! Think you're hot shit? Prove it. Oh shit! No, no, no! You... So the legends are true. Point taken. I'll back down. But there's something you should know. Bennett is Arasaka's pawn. They aim to control Dogtown through him. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it. He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him, press him. You'll see him, right? Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or we could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. High five me on Monaco Bana. Yeah. Optional meet with the Bennett before Corns Kurt Hansen's fake. Sometime later. Ain't our guy that. Probably his hustle. Take him out now, just in case. Save yourself the headache later. Let's roll. But what a grind. Japanese suits have their neckties tied so fucking tight. Wait, who? Oh fuck, Aguilar! <laughs> Do you know how Colombia ties their? Do you know now how the Japanese tie their neckties? Do you know the Colombian way? The Colombians cut open your neck, pull your tongue out through the hole. It sounds complicated, but I've had plenty of practice. Aguilar, please, listen to me. I know what this must look like. This fuckhead Yago. Your accountant. Hmm, he's trying to cut me out. Arasaka's promised to have my back. All they want in exchange is access to our smuggling routes. Uh -huh. no. What they seek is control of your smuggling routes. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm out to secure the future. For my organization. For your bosses. And if Yago was not a problem? Perhaps I've spoken to him already. Perhaps he has realized the error of his ways. A slippery leech, that one. I know a lie when I hear one. I know Yago did not lie. He will support you, as will I. <laughs> well, now that's a different story. 
One Cuban in my corner is worth more than ten Arasaka boardrooms. Agreed. We have a deal. I'll forget about the Japanese. One last question. Where the fuck is my driver? You should forget about him, too. <laughs> yeah, you are going to walk this time. Cream work, Aguilar. Time for a breather, though. V. Have you made progress? Has Yago reconsidered? Has indeed. Also, Voodoo Boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Yup. Met with Bennett, too. Man's a sock puppet. Sock his hand up his ass. Don't worry. I pulled him off, ironed him out. For good, I hope. Huh. It's not something I asked you to do. But I do appreciate it. Bennett is still superior to Yago as a candidate. What now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Interesting. Uh huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Leroy more. Vive Leroy. Good luck, V. Okay. Back to the dog town. This was pretty, pretty easy. In sea cleaning. <laughs> okay. I think V is enjoying way too much being a this Cuban assassin. The final act. Hansen's wake. Enter Aguilar. Shit, V. Got me on the edge of my seat. Get this show on the road. Apparently this chip isn't, isn't going to mess with the relic. And Johnny. So... I mean, it's a, just a personality. Nice to you. Welcome to the Black Sapphire. Hope you uh, had a pleasant flight. Thank you for coming. Time to go. Don't ask why. I'm just staring everyone to the eyes. Like a psychopath. So, you ready? They have left the building unfinished. Well, it's a, it's a mega project, so I, I suppose plum, making plumbing this size is going to be like not really easy. Cuban cartel? Here? Could get interesting. Aguilar, in honor. For all of us. This is how you bid your leader farewell? 
Under the circumstance, I expected more. Pomp. Pomp? Well, we did what we could. What felt right. Take me to Bennett. He came with extra security. Got a bad feeling. Not much burn marks. Aguilar, what a surprise. I understand you've met. <laughs> Choose a new leader. Havana sends its condolences. The news of Colonel Hansen's death shook us all. I'm sure the Colonel would appreciate your... goodwill. You're dismissed. I met earlier with the Lieutenant Colonel. We had a lovely conversation talking of this and that. In the end, we both agreed Dogtown needs a strong leader. That leader will be Bennett. The people here heed his words, as will you, Yago. Oh, until when? Until you leave town and he's free to stab me in the back? I want names, contacts, connections. Your informants in the NCPD, everyone on your payroll. Ridiculous. You will prove your loyalty to me. It's a fair price. You will pay it. Hansen would say, only the weak make concessions. Keep the Colonel's name out of your mouth. You snip at each other like two crazy chihuahuas. Is this what your Colonel would want? Were he still alive, his choice would be swift. Yago to keep his place in rank, the right hand to Lieutenant Colonel Bennett as leader. Am I wrong? Alongside your colonel, in this very coffin, you will bury the hatchet. This is Dogtown's only path forward. Hmm. That could work. We have a deal. Hope I won't regret it. Havana has eyes everywhere. Behave, both of you. All of you. Or I'll be back. Dog eat dog world, I guess. What's that make dog town? Dog eat do dog dog town. Silverhand, one you will heed.
No Curtain estoy call. De Take a bow, V. Had our fun, but it's time we sent Aguilar off with a heartfelt adios. Adios, Aguilar. It's been real. The word is Dogtown has a new alpha. Lord Bennett's an apex predator. Gonna make a fine new handsome. With a sensible partner at his side, he stands to achieve more than Hansen ever could. Marvelous work, V. Worth every penny and more. That'll be all for now. I'll be in touch.